you so much for sending me your sentences yesterday. They were amazing. Okay, so, sorry, there's building work going on outside. Um, so today, um, with, I'm going to teach you another high frequency word because we're going to carry on from yesterday. So yesterday we learned this word, didn't we? Can you remember what it says? Mm, every, well done. And we already know this word, don't we? It's the word one. And if we put this together, so we're going to take away that big gap. Every one, everyone, everyone, everyone likes to dance. Well, not everyone, that's not true. Everyone. Great, guys, well done. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at the, again, the U sound. So we learnt this yesterday, didn't we? We've got, it can make an OO sound, but we're focusing on you who making the sound good and there's another way we can write this so instead of a a uh and a uh, a u and an e together we've got an e w u u u u u u u okay have a go at writing it on the floor a and a w makes a u sound write it on the ceiling e w makes a u sound write it on your nose tiny tiny e w makes the u sound good what was the sound we're learning today mm, well done it's the u sound how do you write u good e w okay i'm got so i've got some words for us to read together okay and they've all got the e w the u digraph at the end now we're only in year one so we might not know if it's got the oo or the u sound um, so read it both ways if you're not quite sure, okay, just to help you, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, so if we've got this word here, can you see the U digraph at the end? But we don't know if it's the U digraph yet, because we just know it's an EW, and we know that could either be U or U. So let's try and read it. St, st, U, stu, stu. Let's try it with the U sound. St you. St you. St you. A yummy, yummy stew. Now I'm going to give you a clue here. They're all the U sounds, okay? So you don't need to really do that anymore. But when you're reading your story, that's um, a strategy you can use, okay? So this next word, you. Few. A few of us. A few of us. Good. N. Mm. You. New, new, good. I've got a new pair of trousers on today. New. And this word, okay. Do you remember? PH. Is that s digraph? Well done. N S U. Nephew. Some of you might have nephews. Or you might be a nephew. You might have an auntie or an uncle. Brilliant. Okay, so now it's your turn to do some writing. Okay, so the first word, we've already looked at it. The first word is stew. Okay, in the winter, I like to eat stew. Have a go. There is a name with the U sound at the end, and it's Matthew. Now, Matthew is a tricky name to write because it has a T digraph in the middle of it okay so see if you can work out how to spell it just from that clue okay good the next word is pew if you go to a church the wooden benches you sit on are called pews and the next word is mildew mildew that's a funny word to write isn't it mil but mildew um, is like mould, like mildew and mould. Um, and let's have a go at writing the word nephew. Can you remember? It's got a special digraph in the middle of it. Great. 
Now, just like the U sound we learned yesterday, the uh and the S together, all of these U sounds are at the end as well, okay? Because you do normally find the EW digraph at the end of a word, so that's a bit of a tip. Right, let's have a look, see if you've spelt them similar to mine. So we've got stew, st, you. Great job. Pew, p, you. Well done. Mildew, mild, you. Mildew. And nephew, n, s, u. Wow. Look at those. You should be so proud of yourself. Amazing. Right. So next, we're going to have a go at reading a sentence together. Okay. Oh, hang on. I didn't, I didn't do Matthew. Okay. Matthew. Did you do a capital letter? Because it's a name. Did you remember? Okay. So this is ma the word Matthew, the name Matthew. This is a capital M because it's a name, capital letter. So I've got M, A. And this is a digraph. So I've got a T here, and then I've got a digraph here, and I've got another digraph at the end. So it's like it's got a silent T here. Matthew, Matthew. Silent T. Because you don't say Matt, Matt, you, Matt, you. It's just Matthew. Grand. Okay, so I'm going to write a sentence. Um, here we go, okay. So I'm going to leave it here, see if you can read it. Well done. Okay, so we've got this name. Well, first of all, we've got capital letter and it's a name. So this word says Matthew is my nephew! Exclamation mark! Matthew was my nephew! Excellent! Well done! Okay, see if you can write the sentence, Matthew is my nephew. Well done. See you tomorrow.